India is a country where every religion finds a home. India is a country which has arised on the dreams of great leaders. India is a country where on every branch golden birds are found. My humble greetings to everyone. Nelson Mandela has rightly said, Youths of today are the leaders of tomorrow. Hence, you will be witnessing Nayab Sair aka me contemplate and discuss on the topic Postmortem of Politics in India. The word Postmortem itself relates to death, which leads us to a very significant question. Have we destroyed the politics in India? The answer to this question, everyone, is regretfully a big yes. Let's take a brief glance into the present brutal politics of India, the knowledge of which is unbeknown to many. I ask you citizens of the country, have you ever asked yourself why your citizenship is being questioned in your own homeland? Why our future nation builders, our students are being suppressed? Why our business sectors and flourishing hubs are being privatized? Why the unemployment rate in India has reached to 25%? Why the backbone of our country, our farmers, are being pushed towards the hanging rope? Na samjhonge to mit jaoge hindusta walo, tumhari dasta tak na hoge dastano me. My dear people of India, the questions are many, the accusations are many, and the answer is simple and transparent in front of our eyes. Political scenarios are changing drastically, and we are living in a political environment of lies. And if you think our beloved golden bird of India is on the verge of falling from the branch, you're wrong. It's already by 23.9 meters deep inside the earth. Our situation reminds me of some few lines. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was a season of light. It was a season of darkness. It was the spring of hope. It was the wind of despair. We had everything before us. We had nothing before us. Respected viewers, India is crumbling day by day. Not only politically, but also economically. This is the truth of our current India. And the truth is incontrovertible. Malice may attack it. Ignorance may deride it. But in the end, there it is. One of the few reasons that has led to a complete collapse of politics in India is the multi-party system. There are more than 170 parties that are operating on regional as well as national level. They all have different ideologies. But what's the benefit of having so many parties? Yes, dear Democrats, it's high time we accept the fact that our beloved India is not a progressing country anymore, but rather a deteriorating country, deteriorating day by day because of corruption, or should I say, corrupt leaders, who are most ever responsible for the sinking ship of our Indian politics, who are trying to divide India into caste, creed and races. I would like to verbalize a very pertinent Marathi quote here. देश चा धर्म पांतिया चा पुडे चा उन विशार करतो तो देश सगत प्रगती चा मार्गार मार्क्रमन करी तस्तो अनेक ते तेखता ही आपल्या भारता ची विशेशता I would like to conclude by saying even in these worst times we should try to stand up for our dream India try to successfully sail the ship of our Indian politics this time not in the wrong direction but in the right direction समझोंगे ही तो आबाद हो जाओगे हिंदुस्ता वालो तुम्हारी ही सुनहरी दास्ता होगी दास्तानों में माय इंडिया आर इंक्रेडिबल इंडिया थैंक यू